and we're live. I mean, like one video like that I always watch in here, and it does come down to it, is this guy, there's like a fucking, like, and I, I do like his channel. I've seen all his videos, but this one clip, there's like a truck there, and he has this high-powered rifle, and he shoots the truck, and the door goes flying and like almost misses him. This door would have cut him in half. I've watched this clip on his channel so many times. Even though I've seen the rest of his channel, this particular clip where he literally almost dies is the one where I'm like, "Oh shit." You guys hold, on, let me pull it up. You guys should you guys should check it out. Yeah, I like that stuff. Russia. <laughs> yeah, that's his name, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I liked doing dangerous stuff in videos. Like, like I like, I like for things. Yeah, to I watched your videos because of the dangerous <laughs> shit, bro. Like, yeah. I watched it. I was like, "Yo, this guy." Like, we used to watch it and be like, "Yo, yo, do you see how, bro? He fucking blew up the car." Or like when you there's like fire and shit. And I felt like you had to do that. You had to do more things to amp it up and take it up and take it up and take it up. And I used to be like, "Damn, like this week we got to use more pizza." <laughs> this week for him he's like using c4 on a drone <laughs> yeah yeah it literally was stuff like that it was it was i wanted things to look as dangerous as possible while being as safe as possible and there's a it, it, there's a weird sort of diagram where it's like oh this looks incredibly dangerous and i'm like yeah because it kind of is and then but but you don't want everything you don't want them to be even right you don't want to be like a 50 50 overlap we're like yeah it looks dangerous because it is incredibly dangerous i tried to like it should try look to more do dangerous than it really is. It should look more dangerous than it really is. Um, and there I were think that car times. door. That car door is one of the craziest. <clears throat> is it a car bro. door? I'm mixing it up with a yeah. Door. yeah it's, it's like the pickup truck and the fucking. But, I well, remember both like your your hundred percent. Both of those happened, bro. Um, the the refrigerator door came back and uh and took Scotty out. Um, let's see. I'm wearing a chive shirt. Let's see. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I remember something. Was blowing up Look at his little arm! <laughs> <laughs> little arm. How adorable your neck is in that one. The uh, yo, this say? is fucked. Oh, this is actually happened. Yo, that is crazy, bro. You couldn't put the every TNT time where you, or the 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 hell is it called that binary? Yeah. So every so what time happened, that is so fucked to me, dude. That is yeah, so fucked. Yeah. The, the reason that happened, Woody was about to say it, but um, uh, I usually hung the explosives, the Tannerite, from the rear view mirror. So they're centralized in the cabin of the truck, and they're also easy to hit. And this car, that truck did not have a rear view mirror because I'd gotten it from a, like a junk lot or something. And so it had to be attached to like the oh shit handle on the passenger side. And, uh, and so it's just right against the back of the door, and it created a shaped charge. That's how shape charges work. You've got explosives on one side. And on the other side, you've got a flat piece of metal, and the, the obviously the explosive mm. s like sends that metal forward to like do damage. It's it's how like lots of like weapons of war are built. Claymores are somewhat built like that. Lots of like armor piercing like munitions are built that way. But in this case, we sent a fucking truck door back at me at the speed of light. Bro, I watch <laughs> it once a month. I watch it once a month. Literally, I'm like, yo, this guy didn't almost just die. He almost got fucking cut in half by mangled steel. It would have been pretty rough. Um, it could have killed yeah. me for sure. It could have maimed me a little. Um, I kind of wish it had hit me, but like not injured me too badly. <laughs> like, like if it had like hit me and sent and like 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 blunt impact, like like the edges don't hit me. Like if it, if it just like hits me flat and like knocks me on my ass and I like pop back up, like oh that kind of hurt. I think that would have been even. Well, at, at that point, it's slicing by a real close and just yeah. giving you a badass scar. Give me one of those. <laughs> on your bloody face, you're like, have a nice day. I oh, I had totally that, done it. <laughs> I had totally done it. I think that if you got hurt, it would have been hard to land future sponsors. That it would have gone so viral. That's a sponsored video, by the way. There's a reason I'm wearing a chive shirt. <laughs> <laughs> There's an like irresponsible gun owner thing would like give you so much attention. Well, he's standing like 15 feet. From the fucking truck. I'm real close to that truck. <laughs> He's so Are you? close to the truck. Oh, yeah, we're close. As, I like, as I, I like, I'm, I could be uh, kind of a pussy with certain things. I would have stood further away from him holding the gun than he was from the truck. <laughs> like, he was like in there, but that was part of it. It was like, that was the aspect. You knew there couldn't be one motherfucker in the comments be like, pussy, stand further away, pussy. Like, you, they, there was no room for guys like that. No. So, like, that's, that's how you, like, that's how you take it. Like, that's where you go with it. Yeah, like, and that, I, that and clip I, is insane to me. And I oh. also like the framing 
you know, of the shot, right? Where you've got like just enough, you got all of me like waist to head filling the left side of the, the, the frame. And then that truck is, we're so close that it's filling the rest of the frame. So when you get a big pop, it just like, it's a cool visual. That's, that, that's what I always, we would, that's what like, I would move closer. I'm sure we could have gotten an expensive lens that would have accomplished all of this, but, uh, but no, <laughs> I was, I was like, we're using a big ass Panasonic, Panasonic, Panasonic with fucking zoom on it. And it's just is like, that Gator? is that Gator holding it? Yeah, it's Gator. Oh, actually, right next to you? actually that day I had hired. <laughs> I a, imagine uh, it goes through his legs and he doesn't move either. It's just screw his legs. I've got a full crew that day, actually. I've got um I've got like a I had hired like a five thousand dollar per day uh production crew with a high speed camera. There's high speed footage of that somewhere. Um like like, like I don't know, maybe two thousand frames per second, three thousand frames per second, something like that. And uh they had never filmed with me before. These guys were like semi local and what after they're all very professional, they didn't say shit, right? So we didn't have to do any audio engineering. But afterwards, they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck? It went right like, by us. And now that I know it's 2,000 frames per second, imagine just like a car door slicing your head and face off in half in 2,000 millis- like 2, frames per second. I would go on the dark web and be like, yo, you remember FPS Russia? <laughs> I got the clip. I got the clip of him getting mangled by a car door. Two thousand frames per second. Someone would have uploaded it for me. Like, 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 let's get it fucking going. I wouldn't give a shit. Like, everyone should see that. It, that was that would have been so fucking cool. Like, I don't want to die or anything. I don't. I don't want to die. But if I'm gonna die, let's fucking upload that shit to my main channel. Let's get this shit a, a hundred million views or something like that. Like, if I'm gonna die, um, that was wild though. Uh, and it was. But you know, like we did more dangerous shit than that. Like, like I, I had a cannon shoot right past me one time and cut a tree down behind me. Uh, we didn't upload that one. Kitty thought that I, one didn't look a little rough. I did always, I did watch your videos with the knowledge of being like danger is an ingredient in these videos. Absolutely, there was like an element of people would always be like, uh, you know, the the things like, oh, is it Russian? Is this guy real? Uh, then being like, oh, he knows how to shoot. Like he's good at shooting. You had that part too. But then there was like, I always believe that there was like three elements to make something viral or interesting on the internet. Something that made you have to have your reaction. Then another thing where you're like putting your hand on the mouse is actually Freddie Wong told me this. And then the third thing, which will make you share it. And that third thing's important. So it was always like the third aspect was always (laughs) danger was always a present ingredient. And I think people like we were talking about, like to your point, like people like that shit. What I did early on is like I rec- like I saw what viral videos were. You know, they'd be these one-off things, like like I don't know, chocolate rain or something like that. Or or one of them would be like, you know, like like some sort of natural disaster, something like that. And I was like, there's these videos, they get like a hundred million views, like they all have some commonalities in them. Like, like, like if you could just do that every week, like that could be a career. If you could just if you knew how to make a viral video at will like like that's a thing so i thought that like the mystery of the character was interesting i thought that um it being dangerous was a comp- was definitely going going to always have to be a component of it it being short like like none of this 10 20 minutes short, short was a big deal back then short was like i looked at like like before i put up like that was our most popular video fast food lasagna at the time i was like bro this is five and a half minutes Bro, five and a half minutes. People aren't watching YouTube for hours, bro. We can't do five and a half minutes. Now I sit down, I look at a video, it's like eight minutes. I'm like too short. Yeah. I I felt like if you could squeeze everything into five minutes, you had a fucking home run. If you had five minutes of just nonstop, like if you could squeeze in some jokes, if you could make the person laugh, gasp, and and then fucking like rewind a little and watch a thing for a second time, like those were big components to me. Uh, I was, I was, I was like, all right, we gotta get, a, get as many jokes as we can in there. At least one of them will be funny. Um, we gotta, we gotta have something in there where they're just like, oh, 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 okay. And then we gotta have one moment where they're just like, hang on, I gotta see that again. There's, yeah, I don't know. Um, and and then you know, like, I, I think the refrigerator door thing, um, that one was uh, silly. And every time something bad happened, it was a product of failures that that were a little bit out of my hands. Where I could and I could have prevented them, but like it was it was a sort of like the show must go on kind of thing that happened where like the refrigerator door thing that happened because um, the explosives that I had were supposed to work with shotguns, 
but they just weren't working. And we were making a video with a Sega 12 shotgun, a, you know, a, a Russian fully automatic shotgun, trying to blow up this. Uh, I think I had a red dot. Um, it didn't work. I don't remember exactly what okay. it was, but you're, you're thinking of in the red. Uh, and, uh, and, and it wasn't working. It, it wasn't working with the shotgun. I think it was, uh, I think it was Tannerite's um, low velocity stuff. I think I had some of that. It, anyway, it wasn't working. And, uh, and so I had my, my friend with a rifle and what he was going to do is like, when I fire the shotgun shot, he's going to time it just right. He's going to hit it with a rifle and we get the visual of the shotgun blowing the door up. And, uh, he had been drinking apparently. L l I didn't know that, but <laughs> I go, I go boom. And then he goes pow. And then it <laughs> blows up. And I'm just like, well, we just blew the door up. I only had the one door, you know? And, and, and he's like, God damn it, Kyle. I'm sorry, man. I, I should have told you I had a couple beers before I, I was in, you know, I, I was at my house when you came and got me and I'd had a few. And I'm like, we should probably should have said something, man. You're back behind me with a rifle. <laughs> and he's just like, well, I wasn't going to hit you. I was like, right, I guess not. I was like, what are we going to do now? I was like, we got like an hour of sun left. He's like, I got an old refrigerator at the house. Y'all can have that. And so we took his old refrigerator out in the field and we filmed with that same technique, um, different shooter behind the rifle who could get the timing right. Cause they were fucking sober. <laughs> and, uh, and when it, when it went off, you know, it's a fucking refrigerator and we're so close to it. And a big chunk of like bendy sharp steel just hit Scott right in the fucking leg. And, um, I don't know. It makes the video better. I'm glad it, nobody really got hurt. He got a few stitches. It was all good. But, uh, you know, that, that video went extra viral because he got hurt. Uh, so, you know, nothing, no, you know, it went fine. I thought sure, yeah, worth it. All the injuries were because of stuff like that though. I don't think there was any, I had some little injuries, like, like, like nothing to even like speak of, but like I had bullets, like ricochets come back and hit me and like draw a little blood. Um, I had a 50 cal round come straight back at me and hit me in the chest one time. And I looked down and it's just there. And I, it's just like, <laughs> it's a 50 caliber bullet. Like I had been like you shooting. wearing anything thick, like a coat. I was wearing an FPS Russia shirt. <laughs> Professional <laughs> Russian t-shirts. Like... <laughs> they're still for sale. Like maybe. Yeah, they're bulletproof. By the way, get one. Especially <laughs> in law enforcement, it'll it's save you. Good. I, that's not a true thing. But I, I'm like shooting like con pressurized concrete was bup, 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 and this armored round comes straight back like a tennis ball or something. And I feel it, and I like look. I'm but I just keep filming. And when we're done filming, I'm just like. Here's one of the bullets, guys. And they're like, where'd you get that? I'm like, it just hit me in the fucking chest. It came back and hit me. And then another time we were shooting frangible bullets. These are bullets that are meant for like specifically things like if you're uh, an air marshal and you're going to have to shoot a gun in an airplane, they're, they take a very fine copper powder and like denim and they compress them into a bullet. And that way it'll like go into a person and kill them. But even if it were to go through them, if it were to hit something hard, like the fuselage of a plane, it just goes poof. It's also, like if, they're target friendly. Like if if you were to shoot a lot of rounds and pierce your targets and damage the thing you're shooting at, like at an indoor range. Yeah, I know. When I went to New Jersey and they required frangible ammo because they didn't want anyone busting up their targets. Yeah, that's usually because they've got cheap steel for their targets. Um, now armor piercing rounds, they'll fuck up even the best armored steel. But uh, um, but like regular full metal jacket, they, they you're fine. But um, I, I had two versions of this stuff. I had handgun. And the handgun stuff, you could you could walk right up to the steel target and go ping, ping, ping. And I mean, the barrel is this far from the target, which means that I'm this far from the target. And I'm just going ping, 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 ping with a 1911. And the bullets are going poof. And it feels like sand hitting you at like kind of high velocity. It, it, it barely stings. It's cool. It's like, oh, my God, this is so cool and safe. And uh, and so I filmed that. And then I'm like, give me the AR-15 version, the 556 five, stuff. And we slap that in an AR. And I'm. I just start approaching a target while like dumping a magazine. I'm just like ping, 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 ping. As I walk closer and closer and closer to the target. And at some point I got too close and the splatter shoots me in the crotch and it just shoots fragments all in my, like it didn't hit my dick, but it hits both of my inner thighs. And I finished filming the video, like camera turns off and I pull my pants down to my ankles and like roll my boxers up and my thighs are just bleeding because there's just bullets all in my fucking inner thighs. Um, and then one time when we were shooting the minigun, um, and I was like holding it like fucking Jesse Ventura from, from predator, uh, one of the bullets exploded in the belt feeder next to my thigh. And I thought I was legitimately shot. Um, and sure. when I, when I, we finished filming 
and I like dropped my pants again and it looked like a cigar burn on my inner thigh because it had exploded and just like went through my pants and then kept sizzling in against my skin, but it didn't like penetrate me. But I thought I was, I thought I might be dying on that one. Cause we were so far from help. But other than that, it was mostly like a few close calls here and there.